Hello, my name is Adam and I'm pre-sales consultant at Stormit. Stormit as an AWS Select Consulting Partner can help you make the most of what AWS Cloud has to offer. One of the main benefits of using AWS Cloud is the elasticity and flexibility you can leverage. You have access to computing and storage resources when you need them. But how can you start and stop instances automatically without your manual intervention? This is where AWS Instance Schedule can help. Let's look at what you will learn about it today. At first, we will look at what AWS Instance Schedule is and why should you actually use it. I will answer the simple question, how does it work? Then we will look into the AWS Management Console for a demo and you will learn how to deploy it. In the last section of this video, you will learn more about the AWS Instance Schedule pricing. So what is Instance Schedule? It is a solution, not a service from AWS, and it automates the starting and stopping times of Amazon EC2 and RDS instances. This solution is also referred to as the AWS EC2 Instance Schedule or RDS Instance Schedule. You can create your schedules and it includes a simple CLI for configuring schedules and periods. You can schedule instances in a multi-account AWS environment and Instance Schedule can automatically add tags to all instances it starts and stops. So let's look at how it works. This is a diagram of Instance Schedule solution architecture. The main part of it can be simply deployed as cloud formation template, but we will get to that later in our demo. It uses AWS Lambda to automatically stop and start EC2 and RDS instances across multiple AWS regions and accounts on definite schedule. The schedule with configuration is stored inside a DynamoDB table. You can also configure SNS topics and CloudWatch for notifications and logging. The solution creates a customer master key in KMS, which is used to configure server-side encryption for the SNS topic and the DynamoDB tables. And it also leverages AWS resource tags and during the configuration of the deployment, you define a tag key you will use to identify EC2 and RDS instances. Here is an example of tag that will start the EC2 instance on Monday at 9 a.m. and stop it right before midnight. You can find more examples by using the provided link in the description below. Our AWS Instance Schedule tutorial should help you with the deployment of this solution. Here is our architecture that we will deploy using CloudFormation template. You will find useful links in the description below or you can look into our article about the deployment and copy them from there. But now let's go into the AWS Management Console and start. So we are logged in into the AWS Management Console and we will deploy the AWS Instance Schedule stack. First choose a region for the deployment here and we will choose Europe Frankfurt and then choose cloud formation and create stack and we will choose template is ready Amazon S3 URL and we will copy the URL here you will find this URL in the description below this URL leads to the latest official instant schedule template from AWS and click next. So we will name our stack as schedule and basically leave everything by default. You can change the tag name here. I will leave it as schedule. It's simple enough. And here you can select which type of instances you want to schedule. We just want to schedule EC2 instances, so we will leave it as default. Here you can change your time zone. I think uh, it's, it's not necessary to change it for now. You can leave it as it is. And we can just click on 
next. We will leave everything by default here also and click on next. And at the end here, just tick the view and knowledge that AWS cloud formation might create some IAM resources and click on create stack. And we will just wait till the cloud formation stack indicates create complete here. You can refresh it by this refresh button and just wait for a couple of minutes. So our stack is created after a couple of minutes. Uh, we will go to DynamoDB now and check our tables here. You should find three and one of them is named config table. Here you can find the uh, schedules you will create or the ones that were created from the start. Just click on view items and here you can see some example schedules. You are able to change or create schedules by changing this table or you can use instance schedule CLI. In this video I will only use this DynamoDB table to change and create our schedules because I think it is a little bit easier to understand. So we can start by copying one of the schedules here. We can copy for instance Seattle office hours and just duplicate it. We can change the name to my office hours and change the time zone here to Berlin and change the description just write my and click on create item and you can see that our schedule was created here you can see our time zone and this was added automatically the periods is one of the main things you can find period in the same table here you can find office hours okay it's here periods office hours and here you will find office hours uh, we will just change this item by edit and change time to for instance 8 a.m to 4 p.m and save this change this will make the change immediately and now we can go to ec2 instances we should have one example already here it is in the stopped state and we can just change the tag of this instance just click on it and change the tag and we will add tag our tag is named schedule and enter our value so it was my office hours and save and it should start working I think after a couple of minutes it should be running this instance and we will see just wait and our our instance is running so our schedule worked and I will just make one more change to you to see that our schedule is working both ways so I will go to config table again just click on view items and I will find my period here office hours and because it's around 3 p.m. I will change it to 3 p.m. so it should stop the instance or I can just choose 2 p.m. and save the changes it should be immediately or after a couple of minutes okay. 
and now we will just wait till our instance is stopped again. Our instance is now stopped, so it's basically everything. Uh, I just want to be sure you understand that everything is done by one of the tables here config table and here you can find everything what you need to create schedules or your periods as you can see here uh, this period for instance office hours at the end have weekdays also not only time and you can find that it's only working from Monday to Friday here you will find one from Saturday to Sunday as you can see weekends so your instances could be running only on weekends or you can just choose the days that you want and just can use them for your EC2 instances and the ones you can use are the schedules not the periods so the names here for instance our my office hours should be written on your ec2 instances in your tag in the tag named after the one you have chosen when you created your cloud formation stack and this is everything for our demo we can go back to our presentation and look at the pricing of this solution. The cost of this solution depends on the number of accounts used and if you set it up for EC2, RDS or both types of instances. In this example we assume that we schedule only EC2 instances in one account in the EU Central region. At this moment the cost for running this solution, which was described in the previous tutorial, is approximately $2 per month. The main two parts here are AWS KMS CMK, which is necessary, and CloudWatch metrics that you don't have to use. The cost of this solution per run will depend on the number of instances being tagged and managed by the solution. As the number of EC2 instances increase, the Lambda runtime also increases. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos about AWS services, subscribe to our channel or if you want to learn more about other services, visit our website and blog. Links are in the description below. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us.